There are 40,000 unidentified sets of human remains right now in this country, and it's only possible to identify someone if there is someone looking for them. It's a slow process from discovery to identity. An Arizona State University forensic anthropologist breaks it down into three stages. First, recovery after the discovery. A forensic anthropologist uh, would be called. There are more skeletal elements to deal with the younger the person is. The ends of the bones aren't fused together. For example, one bone may actually be three. So it could vary anywhere from over 500 to about the adult, you know, 206. It's more labor intensive. You have to um, be very detailed in your analysis. Second, examination and documentation in a lab. Lay out the body as a skeleton. And so, you know, it's a process of identifying what bones are what. And then they would, you know, photo document, take handwritten notes, and then they would begin sort of their assessment. And that assessment would be in a younger adult, be primarily measuring. So they'd measure all the long bones, estimate age, as well as stature, uh, look at the dentition, you know, any of the teeth that are there. They would probably want to use, you know, some fairly low resolution microscopy, microscope, and just look at the surface of the bone to see any areas of possible trauma. Finally, additional testing such as DNA. The sex of the individual. So they, they will look um, uh, for presence of the Y chromosome. They would want to develop the profile, the biological profile, the molecular profile of this person. And depending on the lab, it'll probably be, um, you know, 13 characteristics that they're going to try and uh, determine what they are. Scientists can try and match that up through a DNA database. Parents of missing children usually have their DNA in that database for that reason, which comes back to you can only be identified if someone is looking for you. Again, this is a slow process. Many cases take weeks, even months to complete. But we're told children typically have a higher chance of being identified because parents usually want to find their kids. Crystal Henderson, 12 News.